Gods of Egypt, directed by Alex Proyas, and um, you might know him from such films as Dark City and The Crow. He also directed I Robot. Um, so he's done some pretty decent films. So we have Gods of Egypt, uh, possibly the biggest, one of the biggest shower of shit this year. Uh, it's an almighty shower of shit, this film. Um, that's kind of just basically summing it up, really. This film has been released uh, quite a while already. I believe it was released in America and most other places in February. Um, my cinema, the cinema I go to anyway, have only just started showing it about a week ago. So I, I kind of am late with this review, but also I was only able to actually watch this film in the last week. So um, the basic plot, the God, uh, the God of Darkness set, played by a very orange Gerard Butler. Uh, he takes over the Egyptian Empire, claims the throne of the Egyptian Empire, and then, then it's up to a mortal named Beck, who teams up with the god Horus, who is played by, and now excuse me if I say, say this wrong, I can't actually quite pronounce his name, it's a Nicolaj Costa Waldo, um, yeah, Nicolaj I think, but he, you know him from Game of Thrones as Jamie Lannister, now I really like him in, J in Game of Thrones, but in this film, he is really bad. Um, to be honest with you, he just, it's just like watching Jamie Lannister uh, as a god, really. I mean, this character is exactly the same character as he is in Game of Thrones in this film. He kind of doesn't really make any effort to um, kind of really play this character. To, and uh, I think the only person really that puts any effort into his role here is a very over-the-top uh, Jared Butler. So it kind of trailed off there a little bit, but back to the what is a very basic plot, and that's it's up to the mortal and the god Horus to uh, restore balance and save his people. Now, I'd already heard a lot of negative uh, reviews and criticisms about this film before going in. Uh, I heard it was panned. I think it was um, twelve percent on Rotten Tomatoes. I think something like that. But I was hoping, in a way, I'd be entertained, kind of the same as I was, uh, same way I felt before I went to see Resurgence, uh, Independence Day Resurgence. I wasn't expected a great film, a perfect film. I was just hoping to be entertained. I will be honest with you, this was kind of entertaining, for most, for all the wrong reasons, really. But I found I did find myself actually slightly, ever slightly more entertained in this than I was with Independence Day Resurgence. The acting is very dire right throughout. I think the only person that really puts any effort into his role is Gerard Butler and all he seems to do is constantly scream. I thought there were a few moments where I kept going, well hang on a minute, am I watching 300 all of a sudden? Um, I kept waiting for him to go, this is Egypt! And uh, stuff like that. But um, yeah, we uh, the script The script is absolutely terrible. I cringe so much. Um, I cringe more than I did in Resurgence. The script in this film is absolutely terrible. It tries to be very funny in places, but it's just not. It's just uh, there's a couple of lines, one-liners that were very, very cringy. A lot of things that people said in this film that seemed out of place for the sort of time period that it was based in. And yeah, okay, this is a fantasy, and this is a very, very out there sort of fantasy. I didn't actually expect this film to be as. Um, fantastical you could say if that's such a word as fantastical but uh very kind of like loud and big and i will give the film praise for its imagination i like the ideas and i like the concept designs and you know the designs of the actual suits i think i like that but um it was just a really really bad film but the worst that it was just stuff that people said in this film that just seemed like would they really say that and it just seemed out of place and um, the script was just very, very lazy. CGI. Now, I, t I could tell from watching the trailers for this film, the CGI looked terrible. But I was thinking, oh, perhaps it's unfinished. Because as it usually is in trailers, C the CGI and the special effects, it's usually, they need to polish it up a little bit. But now it's pretty much the same as what you see in the trailers. The CGI in this film is quite bad. And there was a couple of moments in this film that kind of reminded me of other films. I'm not sure if they actually intended to do that. But uh, there was one moment. There's a fight on a cliff top uh, between a god and between the god Horus and some of these creatures, and it reminded me a little bit of the old Clash of the Titans. I'm actually talking about the older films, uh, like Jason and the Argonauts, and it reminded me of them a little bit. But they did it a lot better than this film did. 
They were also, for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, I don't know why, but that film just keep kept coming to me at certain moments in this film, mainly when these gods turn into these these kind of metallic sort of um, versions of themselves, the godlike versions of themselves. And it just reminded me a little bit of the way they kind of clunked around and they were really quite kind of stiff. They were almost like, they were almost like the Megazords. And I felt, I, I thought, oh, that's pretty, kind of like my, you know, Power Rangers, boo. Um, there was also a scene right at the end. The climax is a fight between the God of Darkness, Jared Butler, and the God of uh, Horus. And that, again, reminded me a little bit of Masters of the Universe. Uh, the, the last climatic fight between, uh, in the Masters of the Universe. You know, th- this this film was sort of fun, but it was and entertaining, but it was all for the different reasons. You're kind of you're laughing at it, really. And it's quite funny because it was that bad. You're laughing at it because it's so bad. The only sort of praise I can actually give this more movie, I suppose, is some of the, the imagination in it. I do like uh, what they created. And I like the ideas, but that's about it. For me, it wasn't enough to sort of elevate this film. And um, it just had really kind of very miscast. The accents on everyone. Everyone had this sort of English accent. Everyone just sounded like they were. And at the end of the day, this was based in, well, in Egypt. And I I know it was was like a fantasy-like version of Egypt. But... um, no one really made an effort to disguise their accent. They all and they seem to exaggerate this English accent. The tone of this film as well, it was kind of all over the place. And um the one way the one thing I can actually describe this as and it's again another film that kind of just was there in the back of my mind was Batman and Robin. And it was this very kind of big, loud, silly, dumb movie. But um, when it came to the tone, it, it was like almost as if it didn't quite know what it was. It just, nothing in this film worked. It was a really, really bad film. Very straightforward plot, but you will find it fun for all the wrong reasons. And uh, yeah, I I kind of expected it. I actually didn't expect it to be as bad as it was. Uh, this is a pretty bad film. Coming down, you know, the acting, the CGI, the script. Very, very poor. I will be given... Gods of Egypt, an F. Uh, thank you again, everyone, for watching. I do appreciate uh, whoever it is that takes the time to actually watch my videos. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you soon.